the week. We have Buffalo traveling to Kansas City. We're split. You like Buffalo. Or I like Buffalo. You like Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just think, call me crazy, I think Josh Allen over the last two or three weeks has been playing better football than Patrick Mahomes. And is that partially because of the weapons? Sure. Sure. It definitely can be. Um, but I trust Buffalo more in terms of weapon and offensive scoring. Kansas City scored 22 a game over their last three games. That's just not good enough. I saw Buffalo go toe-to-toe, hang 34 on Philly at Philly. Um, I think Buffalo is a good team. And I just I, I don't know what I'm getting from Kansas City week to week. I know they score, they're starting to score in the second half. That's great. This past week, they had like nine in the first half. That's not going to do it either. Like, so you got you got to stay consistent. They're not consistent enough. I think Buffalo's got it. You like Kansas City. I just go think, ahead and give us your your sales pitch for Kansas City. Then we'll get into uh, keys to win. Are you tired of seeing Josh Allen be reckless with the football? Well, I am too. That's why you should oh bet Kansas City God. this week. Um, so it's an infomercial. Here's the thing. Like, I love the Bills. I do, and I think they have. It, the Philadelphia game was very telling. And they're off a lot. Just that out there. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. Wait, is Casey off a buy too? No, no, no. They just lost. No. I'm sorry. Duh. They lost on Sunday night. Yeah. Slightly shorter week. So, look, when you look at it, I'm looking at the quarterback talents. I like Mahomes more than Allen. Okay. The receivers and the weapons worry me. I like the defense in Kansas City more than – they. Yeah, I think that's fair. They have regressed, and I think a little bit differently of them now since I saw the Green Bay game. But I'm still confident in taking them over the defense that we've seen in Buffalo so far this year. I think if the cards fall the right way and Andy Reid is a genius, they're going to have a great scheme. They're going to get guys open. Now, can they catch the football? Hopefully. Uh, but I do think that Mahomes can kind of have his way with the Bills' secondary. Now, the pass rush, like, we're going to have to make sure we're getting the early window throws, too, and kind of layering routes pretty well. But I think, overall, you're going to see a really good game from the Kansas City Chiefs here. They're going to have to start playing up to those levels of, of expectation, especially going now into this really late season, looking into the playoffs. The Bills are going to be have to. They're going to be a team you have to beat. They're going to be a sneaky wild card team. They're going to sneak their way in. My prediction is they'll sneak in over Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh will fall out. Bills will come in. Charge with them winning this game. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you what that infomercial thing cracked me up. Yeah, I love infomercials because <laughs> cra- like, hey, is your mop a regular mop? Why don't you pay a hundred dollars for this mop that pivots? <laughs> and you're like, dude, I mop four times a year. Like, what are you talking? Like, it's not worth it. You I'll take my regular mop. I mop at the change of the seasons. Adam. Yeah, like that's it. That's all I do. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's so funny. Like, does your phone drop down that little crack in your car? Well, here's a $30 gadget to shove in that. Like, what are we talking about here? Yeah, this is why. get a freaking tea towel from yeah. the kitchen and shove it down. Yeah, I'm like, fine. this is just dumb. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get to these keys to victory here. So let's start with Buffalo as they are the underdog and the visiting team. Their offense, I think you got to get Dalton Kincaid, the young tight end involved. They have a mismatch versus those Kansas City linebackers. I think they're on, like, the third Mike linebacker. Like, they are banged up. Uh, in that front seven. So I think you have the mismatch with Dalton Kincaid. Plus, I don't like either of the safeties in Kansas City. I like the DBs a lot. I like the pass rush a lot. I think the safeties and linebackers are very meh. And so I think if you can get matched up, Dalton Kincaid matched up on whatever matchup you like, given the personnel, um, probably a linebacker, ideally, that is a huge mismatch. That's how you can kind of exploit. So he'll be on the end of the line, I think, more so than he may be used to. So he is lined up a linebacker. Uh, maybe a little chip and get out into the flat and make somebody miss. I think Kincaid's got to be a huge part of the offense. Mm-hmm. 100%. Uh, Buffalo defense, you have to stop the run. And I know that sounds cliche, but here's why. I, and I can't believe I'm going to say it. I don't think Mahomes through the air is going to be able to win this game. I just don't. I, I flatly don't believe in the guys he's throwing the ball to. I don't think Mahomes has what it takes right now with these weapons and with he, with how he's been playing to be able to win a football game himself without a good, good run game and some clever, clever offensive plays. I think you have to run the ball. I think in the red zone, you're going to have to get cute. You're going to have to do the, the loop-de-loop huddle type thing and break out into a weird formation. They just don't have the talent to say, here it is, stop it. So you're saying Kansas, Kansas City needs to win on the ground. They have to win on the ground. They're going to need 100. If they don't get to 150 rush yards, they're not going to win this football game. Well, I think I think even just the the semblance of a run game and being able to run the football is going to open yeah, things I guess up maybe for Mahomes. I'm not worried. I guess the yards are going to be important, but I think what's even more important is the attempts. If they don't have 30 attempts, they're not winning this game. Yeah. I, even if Mahomes is part of that. Even if Mahomes I has seven agree. carries. I'll, I'll take it. 
uh, Kansas City offense, I do think you have to get the ball out quick. I know, you you know, yes, obviously um, running the ball, but these can kind of be extensions of the run game, screen plays, little quick slants, quick outs, flat routes, right? Something that you can get the ball out quick. It seems like most of the drops are down the field throws, right? That late pass to Marquez Valdez scaling, that uh, the Kadarius Tony late drop against the Lions all the way back in week one. That was, you know, 15, 20 yards down the field. It seems like when you get the ball quick, slants, screens, they can catch that. And they have some guys good after the catch, right? Kadarius Tony could make you miss in a phone booth. Uh, Sky Moore is really quick. Even Travis Kelsey for a tight end is elusive. So I think if you get the ball quick, don't overcomplicate their ability to catch the football. Let them catch it easily and then do the hard part in space, make guys miss. Yeah, I like that. And we know that Mahomes has no problem with the timing throws, like the the mundane stuff that you have to do as a quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, what was it? The Super Bowl, He, I think he had one incompletion in the second half, and it was a throwaway. Like yeah. He, yeah, he's he's fantastic. Uh, Kansas City defense, I think it's turnovers, which, I mean, that that's pretty obvious. Any game that you play against Josh Allen, because they have the talent. that You know, they have the ability to score on every possession. The only time... To- they, I feel like they turn the ball over more than they punt at this point. Like, they lose possessions because of their turnovers. So if you can steal possessions from Josh Allen, that's how you're going to win because there's a good chance on most of the possessions he doesn't turn the ball over, they're going to get points. So you have to utilize and you have to to capitalize off those turnovers. So defensively, flip the field with some turnovers. I like that. I like it a lot. Um, Except for keys to victory, score predictions. Yep, I, was I will go Kansas. Or I'm sorry, I will go Buffalo. It's the second time I've done that. Does my heart is my heart telling me KC? Mm-hmm. No, it's not. I think you like the Chiefs. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm going Buffalo. I said 35-24 in predictions. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go 35-24 Buffalo over Kansas City. I think they score late to kind of put it away. I don't think it feels that distant. I think it's going to feel like a three to four point game most of the game. Late touchdown is going to cash it for Buffalo. Kansas City, 33-31. Ooh, okay. Like it. Like it a lot. Super close. Back and forth. Side note, that still means you like Buffalo plus two and a half. That's all I'm saying. It's, anyway. Uh, it's something to keep an eye on. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, that is all we have. Go ahead, 